We're back in the shop. It's a beautiful day. I promised you a recap uh, of the Vulture progress. So let's take a look. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get a little wheelie stool and we'll go around and have a look. I got the handheld GoPro here. Hopefully I'll be able to show you things and it's going to work out fine. Okay, so I've got my little wheelie stool going. There it is. I wanted to show you some progress. I'll take the tools off the engine. How about that? So what I got here is the engine platform is essentially done. Uh, you can see I've cut off some of the bits here from the big square dealie we had. That was quite a quite a uh, struggle with the Dremel tool. And we got our jack shaft cut off. That's right here. So that used to be way out to here. Obviously that's been cut off. Everything has been kind of aligned. We got a bunch of tools laying around everywhere, so we'll cut that out. Uh, right here you can see I've got some red lines marked on where the axle is sitting currently and where all the, where all the uh, sprockets are. So that if they move, I know that they moved. Pretty important, I think. Uh, so we're gonna put some tools away and then I'll show you the underside. So here's what I've got for a motor mount. This is the rubber mount that's going to be the pivot point for my motor. So the front of the motor is attached using this frame to the rear axle. So when the axle goes up and down, the motor follows it. When it goes side to side, the motor follows it. And back here is the place where it's attached to the frame, to the solid body uh, of the uh, cycle cart. So this is holding up sort of half the weight of the motor and I'm hoping that it'll allow the motor to do this and to kind of go like that as well. And that's a rubber mount and I got that at Princess Auto which I assume for you uh, Yankees will be Harbor Freight. So that's what I've got uh, here and that's the stage I'm at. I've, you can see I've cut this off on this side too so that the thing that holds my uh, bodywork on the back will fit, hopefully. Where is that sitting? That's right there in that bin. And so now I'm fitting the chain. I found out uh, that I don't have enough chain to do uh, my other, not enough new chain anyway, to do my other side. And yeah, that's where we're at. So I think I'm going to do that side with old chain just for the test and I'll order some a new chain before our first running event. So we'll see how that goes. And we have lots of other things done. I've replaced this little uh, spark plug tube and it has a little rubber fitting on there. I pulled the spark plug because I was kind of turning the tab and I, I'm always a little paranoid about when you turn the motor, you're not really doing that with the tab, but if you do it, you turn the motor, you think the motor might spark up and chop my finger off? I'd kind of rather not find out if you don't mind. So that guy goes on there. We've got some things basically kind of zip tied here the way we want them. Obviously we had to have our throttle sort of in a different spot. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to find a new way to attach this, but I don't think so. I think this will be okay. I don't use the pull start because I've got a key start right here, electric start. Here's where I have my rev counter and my, uh, basically that's a temp gauge. It's not a gauge. It's a digital readout, obviously, but it's a temperature doodad. And so now what I'm going to do is get that chain there's going to be a chain from this sprocket to that sprocket. And that's going to give me a final ratio of 15 to 1. And that seems high, doesn't it? But apparently these engines like to rev. So I'm sort of... I experimented with slightly higher than 12 to 1 uh, right before Elmhurst. I was having a lot of problems unrelated to the chain. So I took the ratio back down to 12 to 1. Now I think I'm going to be up to 15. I think it's going to be great. Because these things, like, they, they don't stop accelerating. And I'm not a small man. And what am I, like 230, 225? And the car itself has got to be 250-ish, I would think. I haven't weighed it. 
and the thing just never stops accelerating like I just ran out of road so anyway chain goes on here uh, gas tank is gonna have to go on here wheels are gonna have to go on I think I got a bad axle because these things are too shallow and I always end up having to grind down the keyways or the key uh, the not the keyway the the actual key the square key that fits in there I have to grind it down to make it fit which sucks because it's a lot of extra work but I don't know if you've noticed you probably have Whole Pro batteries, uh, they don't last. And I'm kind of like, can we not get a smaller system here? Can we not do away with the big battery and the big camera? Can we have something smallish? It's 2024, people. Anyway. That's how this is going to go, right? And that pulls this way. It pulls up on here. It has to rejoin down there. And everything up here looks pretty okay. I used a straight edge. I didn't just eyeball it. I really did. But, whatever. So let's tighten that fellow back up. Let's get our set screws in view. This guy tightened up again. It is obviously a little bit off of our red lines now, so I think I'm going to uh, I think I'm going to redraw my red lines. It's hard to think, talk, and work at the same time. YouTubing thing, man. It ain't easy. <laughs> okay. That guy there. Let's make it a black line now. because It's, it's going to look like I was really thoughtful and slick about it to make it a different color line, but it's just because I can't find my red marker. <laughs> so we'll go this way. That's our most recent line. And we'll put it even on the keyway to tell if the keyway is moving. Or the key stock or the key I guess whatever you want to call it and then this side will do the same thing and have it thusly and we're gonna then come back tomorrow do the gas tank Thanks for hanging out in the shop. Another episode comes to an end, huh? We're getting there. We got a chain on. That's got to look. That's got to feel good. I know it feels good. Uh, and there we go. While you're at it and you're watching, how about liking? How about subscribing? How about uh, leaving a comment? How about shooting me an email to get on my emailing list for the Elmhurst Grand Prix? You can do all those things. It's all in the description and or the comments. Look in the description first. All right. See you next time. Bye.